it's really important for me to connect with someone that lives in the city that I'm actually making work in. Just reaching out to the undocumented community that's here grounds the peace for me. These are very hard times for anyone that's undocumented. So if I can figure out how to pay someone and give them work, I think that's really valuable for the piece. So the game is called Tripachuca. It's a game that I used to play as a child as I was crossing the U.S.-Mexico border. 23, tres numeros más. I would play with other kids or even with the coyotes that were passing me from person to person. Kept me distracted from what was happening with the reality of my border crossing. The beautiful thing about Tripachuca is that anyone can play. Lines cannot touch, that's the only rule. It almost feels like a fingerprint between two people. So therefore we start building this bond between the undocumented and we start creating this very complex labyrinth that is similar to our crossings from different parts of Latin America. These sculptures have gongs on them and there's actually also three pachuca drawings on the gongs. They are sculpture, headdresses, shrines to me. The names of these sculptures are disease throwers. All of them have anatomical objects. Like one of them has lungs, the other one has a vertebrae, the other one has a colon, and the other one has a frog and is dissected. So to me, like every time that I'm playing those gongs, I am actually cleansing like the cancers that were living within my body and in my mother's body. The tumor that I had, that's where I held all the trauma and all that experience that I had when I crossed the border. I was holding it in my gut and eventually manifested into a cancerous tumor. Thinking about what's happening in the world right now with these kids being in cages and all the abuse that they're taking, what's going to happen to them in 10 years, what's going to happen to them in 15 years or 30 years, what is that trauma going to manifest into? This one's the Shrine of the Undocumented Children. And I create it as a homage to the children that are crossing and all the children that have been killed in their journey. And from my own experiences as being undocumented and being a child and unaccompanied. So I'm going back to the cities that I crossed when I was going through my migration route and I'm collecting materials and they're being applied to the sculptures that you're seeing right now. And this was actually part of my personal shrine where I meditated for two years while I was fighting cancer and eventually turned into a headdress eventually turned into this sculpture and this shrine. I didn't have all the obstacles that immigrants have now. Like I can't even sleep at night sometimes, you know, because I understand how difficult it is. So this is why I'm trying to do the work that I'm doing. <laughs>